everyone and welcome back to Wednesdays with Karen. Today we're going to talk about a really interesting topic. It's how to live meaningfully during this quarantine season. Yes, the word is live and not just merely to survive. So I'm going to give you tips that I personally have learned during this quarantine season. The first one is be grateful. Be grateful that you are eating three times a day during the season. Sometimes even four, to be honest, right? Sometimes may may end up a Well, you gotta be grateful every single day because there's so many people nowadays who can't even eat a meal in a day. And they're always worried where to get money and to buy food so they can cook for their families. At the same time, be grateful that you have clothes to keep you warm, especially during this really rainy season. You know when it's raining, the first thing I think about are the people who doesn't have any houses. Like, the next one is not just their clothes, the next is they don't have any roof to cover their heads. So you ought to be grateful every single day. At the same time, you ought to be grateful that you are safe and healthy during this quarantine season. COVID-19 is just everywhere. Be grateful that you're breathing properly, that you can see, that you can walk, that you can move. Be grateful that your family is always together. Be grateful for gadgets. You know, you can always look at the things around you and there's so many things to be grateful for. And those are the things that I can really, really tell you because I've learned this personally. Always be grateful every single day when you open your eyes in the morning. Second one is don't indulge yourself on social media during the season. I know a lot of people are just, you know, keep on browsing on social media all the time, especially Instagram and Facebook. And, and YouTube and keep on watching all these videos that's okay but do not let social media blind you of reality rather use social media to show to people what reality truly is because a lot of people nowadays when they browse through social media and they see the things that other people have they tend to be jealous and they feel resentful and they don't get to see how blessed they are every single day if I were you I would just use some portion of my time every day on social media and do other things in the house. You know, if you have to do something, put your phone somewhere and do the things that you have to do. Don't always use social media. Third one is don't post everything on social media. You do not need to post everything that you have on social media or everything that you do. You have to remember that it's important for you to use social media for the good things. Use it to benefit others, use it to spread the right information, don't use it to rant, hate, or spread hate to people. Hate is such a strong word and you tend to really hurt people with the things that you say, so be careful. Be careful with what you post because sometimes you may not know that you're putting yourself in danger when you post everything on social media, especially when you post or always post where you are. You might not know there are some people following you already because you keep on posting where you are. So be careful of the things that you have to share on your social media accounts. Fourth one is speak to build others or in other words, type to build others. You know, nowadays social media is just out there. Everyone can use social media and it's so easy for you to just say whatever you want to say. But you know what? It's important for you to always remember what is the real reason of words? Words can destroy and words can build up. If you can't say anything good, don't say anything at all. You know, when you open social media nowadays, it's so toxic because so many people are just seeing everything that they want to say. You know, it's okay to be opinionated for what you believe, but you have to be careful. If you want to be opinionated, you have to be fully knowledgeable of the topic that you want to talk about. And another one, it is not professional to rant on social media. Did you know that some companies, when you're going to apply, other companies really look at your social media, your Facebook, your Twitter, and your Instagram. They check what kind of things that you post about. Be careful of the photos that you post about, the things that you say, or the things that you rant about. Because I personally know someone who applied in this huge company, and that person did not get in because one of the staff really researched that person on social media and they didn't like what they saw on that person's page. So if I were you, I would be careful of what I post about. And not just to show that you have a good behavior, but it really shows what's in your heart based on the things that you share on social media. Fifth one is share your blessings. 
Recently, I gave a personal giveaway on my Instagram. Personally, I really don't like posting of the things that you can do on your social media, but I did that because that's the only way I can reach a random person that I can help. What I did was I gave two of my old iPhones away instead of selling them for it to become money. Because when I saw this photo about the grandmother really saving so much of her money dun sa pagbenta niya ng gulay at binila niya yung apo niya ng cellphone dahil gusto niya makapag-aral yung apo niya for the next school year or this school year which is gonna be online it melted my heart. I looked around my house and I could just see those iPhones lying around and I thought you know if I could reach out to two random students on my social media I can give it to them and at the same time you can use that for their online courses because there are so many kids who wants to study or who want to study but then they don't have the means to do it now because they don't have gadgets so you, you can do so many things you can think of so many things that you can do to help other people don't ever think that you need a huge donation drive to help during this time of need you can give one meal to a person even your neighbor who's struggling can you imagine if everyone is doing that? The world would truly be a better place. There are ways for you to share your blessings during this time. The sixth one is never stop learning. You have all the time in the world and you have the time in your hands during this quarantine season because everyone is stuck in their houses. Find what you're truly interested in and enroll in an online course. I'm gonna tell you, mind you, online courses are not cheap. So if I were you, I'm going to look at something that I really want and invest on that. Because after everything, you can still use whatever you've learned for your career or whatever path you want to take. So if I were you, I will invest my time wisely during this quarantine season. Next one is to create good habits. Did you know that when you're staying at home right now, you are creating habits that you may be unconscious of? And most probably you're creating bad habits that you're not aware of. So if I were you, I will create good habits while I am in the quarantine season. They say it takes 21 days to create a habit. And other people say it takes more time. Well, I really don't know what, what or how many days you need to create a habit. But what I do know is that the first thing, you need to want that change. Because if you're not the one deciding that you want the change and you're just being pushed by someone else or you're just doing it out of guilt, you will not be consistent and you will not be intentional. You have to be intentional. When we say intentional, you will spare a portion of your time or you will come out of your way to really do it. You will do it with an effort. That's what intentional means. Consistency is the third one. Consistency is important because consistency is key. You would create that good habit with consistency. The last but not the least is do not overwhelm yourself. A lot of people tend to plan a lot of things and do not finish or fulfill anything. Focus on one thing until I finish it and then focus on other things. Because what happens is that there's so many people I do know and sometimes personally, this is what I also do, I tend to do a lot of things and then I do not finish anything. You do not want to have a zero end product after this quarantine season. You have to be realistic. You cannot plan and plan things and then nothing will happen. If I were you, I'll just be realistic because it's really going to help you. And those are some of the tips that I can give to you to live meaningfully during this quarantine season. You don't just have to survive, you have to live it. And you can do it with your loved ones as well. Now it's time for Ask Karen. You know, I got a lot of questions that you guys ask me and this is the time for me to really answer them during this segment. First one, do you still want to join Miss Universe? <laughs> I get this question a lot like literally a lot and they would literally comment that on my social media pages but the answer is no i am not going to join miss universe anymore my time had come and i love my miss earth crown and during this vlog i am going to share with you a lot of things about miss earth why it's so cool and i love being miss earth and um, the things that I experienced, I'm going to share them with you, my travels and the things I've learned in the backstage. So the answer is no. I am not going to join Miss Universe anymore. What I want to do is to personally help the other people pursue their dreams. 
now my time had come, what I had to do is to lead them to what God is calling them to do. If we're going to have a Miss Universe once again soon, I would love to be of help with that person. Second question, how to stay gorgeous and maintain having a healthy body? That's a very, very good question. I'm doing image consultancy, that's why I also want that myself would still be an end product after this quarantine season, still looking great. You know, appearance is a very important and a huge factor of image consultancy. That's why I make sure I take good care of my skin, I take good care of my body even though I'm just in the house. Be careful with what you eat and don't forget to exercise. Actually, this is a great time for me to really tell you that I'm going to have a specific episode on what you have to eat and what kind of workout that you can do in your houses. So there you go. I take good care of myself by still doing my routines for my skin, still maintaining the things that I have to do for my hair. So I'm going to have different episodes for that as well. So stay tuned how I take good care of my hair and my skin in the house. And I still make sure to exercise and eat right. So it's loving yourself. That's what I still do. Do not forget to take good care of yourself because it's very, very important. It's a great investment. Trust me. Health is an investment. Last question. What or who is your inspiration for your vlog? Honestly, my inspiration for this vlog is more of a what? Uh, I really want to share the things that I do know. And this is a platform that I can really share it. You know, I can talk so much and I can share the things that I do know to people. And yeah, I just really would love to do that. Like, I have a lot of experiences, I have learnings, I have thoughts that I can share, and I would love to share them. I believe that if you have experienced things and you have achieved goals in life, you don't have to keep your secrets. You have to say it out there so other people can also achieve their dreams and their callings. And that's what I'm doing. I really want to help people. It's always been my heart. I love going out and reaching out to other people because other people have helped me. And I want to return that by helping others as well. It's like a ripple effect, you know? And I love doing that. So yeah. Thank you so much for the questions that you guys have asked of me. Continually type in the questions and the things that you're interested to know about on the comment section. Thank you for watching this episode and I hope that you have enjoyed watching this episode. Don't forget to tune in on the next episode next Wednesday. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button beside it. And do not forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook page for more details. I'll see you once again on Wednesdays with Karen.